all started for me about two years ago. Loneliness with its heavy breath offers a sign to the wandering again man. mate John again with me and we're going back into the mighty car workers. So what are we up to um, here John? Should be in about two and a half hours or so we're at Tapuia Lodge. We'll stop for a little looky there and then get up another 20 minutes, half an hour or so to the Manga Takanoko Hot Springs. <laughs> Not said very well, sorry. <laughs> That's a good. Anyway, follow us on this next adventure. Thanks so much for watching. And what have we got here? Signs. There you go. Oh, oh, hang on. Three seconds into our trip, we have our first obstacle. Now it does say <laughs> approximately four weeks from the 1st of September, um, but that's where we're heading. So, um, let's hope things are all okay. So John, there's really nothing to be afraid of in the bush in New Zealand, is there? Not often. No, <laughs> not unless you come across this. <laughs> We're not too bad. <laughs> Half an hour into our walk when John discovered that his jacket had fallen off the back of his pack. Right back at the car park. So I ended up walking to the hot springs on my own and he caught me up after dark. Pretty stunning, huh? So this is a mighty Mohaka river, so um, this is where it all started for me about two years ago. You may remember these stairs, but I'll try to do on the first day is I'll try to replicate some of the things I remember that I did on that video called the Mighty Car Wreckers, which you'll see up in there. So let's see if my videoing has improved any. Our walk I arrived at the Tapuia hut or lodge. Oh, hey, this is hey. a dock hut. So it has 26 bunks, you'll be paying Hello. $15 a night here okay, um, and it has really good heating by way of a wood stove. Outside um, you'll find a wonderful views of the Mohaka River and there's lots of flat ground by which you can pitch your tent. The springs are only 45 minute walk away from this point.
got to the Mangatanoka hot springs uh, there was one person in the pool so I set up the tent and John still hadn't arrived uh, we were camping together and uh, had oh, tea evening. and then we soaked ourselves in the pool probably till about 10.30 the water was a lot colder this time around it used to be a lot hotter when it was closer to the source of the water but still this was a fantastic place to stay the night Morning sleepy head. How was the night? Oh pretty good. Yeah? yeah. It was um, a good night. It was a good night. Beautiful way to wake up. So this is my Kiwi camping Pukeko. It's supposed to be a solo but as you can see it quite comfortably uh, fits two people. I went off and I had a look at the hot pools and now that it was light and as I said there were two people staying, there were two tents set up already um, but otherwise uh, we had the whole campsite to ourselves so they've changed out the old um, blue tubs to these three black plastic ones and um, I don't, just don't think the water is as hot as what it used to be but what an absolutely amazing setup. So this has only just been finished last week, uh, we came in quite late last night around about 8 o'clock so it was all dark, set up tent, had tea and then um, John and I soaked in this pool here which is hot pools, um, probably till around about 10 o'clock last night, nobody else was here so seriously and you know you're not even having to pay for this campsite, only in New Zealand. How amazing is this? Mm -hmm. 